Oh, we're back. Hey. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of those kind of breaks since we're doing post-commentary. We don't exactly know when we stopped and when we started. <laughs> it's going to be welcome. We're going to be jab- jabbering for random shit. <laughs> yeah. But hey. <laughs> you guys back. get a lot of footage. Yep. We recorded like five hours and lost all that audio. And oh, if you yeah. think that it took me forever to get a new Zombies episode out after that shit happened with just zombies, you should be so happy we didn't take this much time to work Ooh. out this shit with Dark Souls. Yes. I'm kidding. I mean, we did run right up to the time limit we had. Because <laughs> it was literally, if we didn't do this today, we'd have nothing to put out. Yeah. And it was either this today or, <laughs> or nothing because... Yeah. I'll also be gone for like pretty much all our meetings are full for like the next three weeks. Next weekend I'm dog sitting. Yeah, we would have been screwed. I will say though that dog sitting is gonna be really helpful because I'm getting paid four hundred bucks to do it. And that with what I've been saving means we can afford the editing computer. Yep. Which will also be used for gaming. Gaming <laughs> And nothing else. I've already promised that I won't use it for anything else. I'm gonna have some monies for this NDK. I'm gonna get myself some more figures. Nice. Fill up some more of my uh, display case. When we get to having an office, I have the oddest feeling that your office will just be oh, dude. display cases. Pretty much. <laughs> just... Well, maybe not that, because I'm not just gonna be at my house. But I'm gonna have like my mini figs. Yeah. Yes. I mean, I wish renting space wasn't that expensive. Yeah. Well, shoot, everything's expensive here now. But it's also one of those things we aren't earning enough from this at all to justify yeah. daily well n- not so much daily content but to justify us having a space for everybody to show up yep. ah yes the Lunesta Moth I stick with my name for it. like I've nicknamed every boss in Dark Souls oh yeah I know I remember <laughs> but yeah the Lunesta Moth it's Death Phasers yeah Sapper is that's the one I hate Like, those aren't bad, because mm-hmm. even if you block them, they don't do a ton. But the other one, if you get hit by all three in block, it takes so much damage. And if you don't block, you're dead. Ooh. Then you have to wait for this thing to land so it can heal. You're always so tired. Ugh. Excuse me. Again, talking to what has basically become the grab bag mascot in Gretel. Hello. I don't know. I thought about naming our logo and making it more user friendly by like giving it googly eyes, oh. and a face. <laughs> but I don't think anybody would want to deal with a logo that's named either Grabby or Baggy. No. Because <laughs> Grabby implies really weird things. Yes. <laughs> And Baggy just doesn't nah, fit. It doesn't, no. Just doesn't. We're good. We so yeah. we have Gretel. <laughs> she gave me the dirtiest look the other night. The hell did you do? Gave her a bath. Ah, uh, that would explain it. <laughs> and she was just pissed at me for a little bit afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm sorry, you were dirty though. Yep. And then last night she was a little mad at me because I had to wash her house, her mm. bed here, because when I was dog sitting before, one of the other dogs, his defense mechanism is to pee on everything. Uh. So I went to pick him up to move him to my bed so I could eat, because mm-hmm. eating with three dogs right at your lap is very difficult. Yep. And he peed all over the blanket in the bed, uh. so I had to wash both. So she was a little mad that her bed wasn't here for her. And I remember I was so happy I dodged that one. Because it is really hard to dodge those. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't figure out why I dodged once and not the other. Except for different directions. Ah. 400, 500, 600, 800. Like, if I'd attacked one more time, we would have won right there. <laughs> but we would have been yep. dead. Yeah, we would have been dead. Well, that actually yeah, happened yeah. to me in one of my runs for Dark Souls 3. I uh, fought Vort, you know, mm-hmm. the first boss after Eodux. Mm-hmm. And I had summoned help, and we beat him down, and we get him down to the last strike, and I strike right as his ice, the frostbite, takes effect. Uh, and we both die, and I'm like, 
you're kidding me, right? And it says, you died. I'm like, come on, come on. And then he goes, victory. I'm like, yes! <laughs> nice. Like, barely. That's funny. Yeah, I'm just like, I can't believe. But it counted, so I was fine with it. Yep. <laughs> I will also say, for a long time, the Dark Souls episode one was the third most watched video on the channel. Huh? It's been beaten. By what? GTA Randomness Montage 1. Hey. Yeah, people still like GTA. Yeah, but this was just a montage of me and that doing random shit. That's like, always no right. goal, just words, blowing yeah. up everything in sight. Oh, yeah. Which, actually, the next montage, people are going to see it, but we have a better vehicle to do it with. Because the first montage you see me, I use a tank, and we use the armored limo with a 50 cal turret. Mm -hmm. Second montage you see, we used a, uh, basically... A half track with a anti air turret mounted on the back that can be Ooh. aimed at cars. <laughs> this next one, we bought an APC that has a cannon. <laughs> so, armored personnel cannon or carrier mm -hmm. that's also amphibious and has a explosive shell cannon. Cool. It became really easy at that point. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sure. Because the tank, yeah. it's just me. <laughs> this time, you know, Thad's driving and I'm able to just shoot without having to think about it. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. We got a basement key. What's the tower? Yeah, honestly, I can't wait till we can start recording this again. Like, actively recording. Yes. Not passively like we are now. Because, seriously. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's going to be a long five hours. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but wait, we're down we... to four hours. Yeah. Well, then we got the 15 minutes from the next morning as well oh. of Sen's Fortress. Oh, but that one's you yes. and that. No, that's you and me. Is it for this? Yeah. Oh, right. Never mind. Dark Souls is always you and me. Yep, yep, yep. Thad hates Dark Souls and basically refuses to be a part of it. <laughs> Even after I pointed out, Dark Souls and Zelda are basically the same game with different coatings. <laughs> uh, but in Zelda, you don't die so damn much. <laughs> no, but the combat's exactly the same. <laughs> It's learn the enemy attack patterns and dodge. Oh, uh, well, yeah, but again, it's just it's just not this hard. Because this game's a As long bitch. as you... <laughs> my only bitch. pet peeve <laughs> with all this is when people say, like, Dark Souls is hard for the sake of being hard. Like, you know, it's inflated difficulty. And mm -hmm. It's like, no, 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 no. Dark Souls is hard because this is what games used to be. Oh, yeah, that used to be hard as crap. Yeah, and Like, the if reason... you died, that was it, man. You had to start from the beginning. Yeah. Well, you had, like, three lives, unless you were good enough to know where the extra lives were. Yeah, yeah. But the reason being was, back then, you know, a game was still $60. That price hasn't really changed mm -hmm. throughout the 20-plus years that gaming, like, home consoles have existed. Well, actually, more than, even more than 20-plus, but, uh... So, a lot of people couldn't afford to buy a new game, like, every month or so. Yeah. So, your game had to last you, and the best way to do that was make the game hard. Yep. Because if it's a hard game, it's going to take the player longer to beat it. Yes. And this one... I'll give him a shitload of things to find. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, hell, uh, me and Robert recorded a bunch of Third Age, which was a game that came out on PS2 and Xbox original. Oh, uh, yeah. And... I can remember, it was at the end of the, like, you know, you had to go out and buy the game guide era, mm -hmm. and but it was not before the solid, like, yeah, you can trust a lot of what the internet says when it comes to how the game works and what you can do. Okay. And there was a rumor for a long, that was me explaining, uh, with a halberd, or no, okay, well, let's find something. I was gonna say, there's a, the bad thing with halberds is if you miss, you stagger. Oh. Uh. And that's part of why I don't like using them as much. Why I prefer swords, because if you mess with a sword, you have a quick recovery. You mess with yeah. an Albert, it's like two seconds of just nothing. Uh. But no, there was a rumor for Third Age, where if you beat the game on hard difficulty, that you would unlock the Elf Lord character. And he was like a mage of some type. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how many times I beat that game on hard difficulty trying to get this character unlocked, and it never happened. And I was <laughs> pissed every time. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I, I mean, did you ever have like any that. games like that where it's like you read or heard some rumor about if you do this, this will happen, and you tried it? Forever. I think I did it a couple times with, like, 
Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Yeah. There were things you could do to like get How like, to activate big, the like, hot coffee mod. Yeah. <laughs> hot coffee mod or like Bigfoot. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they added Bigfoot into GTA V just because of that rumor. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I think, um, I'm trying to think. I know there was another one like that. I remember there was a game called Streets of LA or something like that. Basically, you were like an Asian cop in L.A., and you were <laughs> trying to stop the Yakuza in L.A., mm-hmm. which is really weird to think about. And I remember my brother had it. It was on PS2. But when you started the game, you got to put in what your license plate was, and that was kind of like naming your character. Yeah. But depending on what you put in, you could get different character models for your character. Oh. There was one I could never get to work, which was if you put in 5 Watt, you'd become a SWAT member. Oh. And I could never get it to work. Just like I remember, the golden eye cheat codes mm-hmm. were hell to put uh, in. Because yeah. it was in that era of like, if you're even a second, like if you wait a second, hesitate at all, mm-hmm. done. That doesn't was it. work. Does that work? Yeah, because it was in sixty four. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I remember like the San Andreas cheat codes yeah. for the controller. Uh, I had like all of those memorized, so I could as I was playing, I'd be like, to get the flying tank. Boom! Let's go. Yeah, I could I could input the entirety of those codes in like a few seconds. See, I didn't really memorize too many codes, cause like, oh yeah, you can't kick yep. Havel Shield down. <laughs> He's too strong for that. He's the juggernaut, bitch. Juggernaut. But uh, I'm trying to think. Like, to this day, Wolfenstein 3D, the first floor of Episode One, mm-hmm. I know every secret for. Um. I can still kind of speed run Doom Episode 1 on PC before mm-hmm. anybody says shit because of how long it took us to beat it on the Xbox 360 version. I can do it on PC. Okay. <laughs> like, the 360 version, they changed something. They added more levels that weren't there originally. Cause I, oh. Or maybe I played the shareware version a lot. Yeah. And that could be the reason. But either way, I could speed run it for a while. Um, uh... Oh, now I remember. I only have one achievement that I'm super proud of, though. Like, the, you know, I have a lot of achievements at mm-hmm. 56, 57,000 gamer score. Nowhere near Achievement Hunter levels, but yeah. I'm up there. Yep, yep. But my proudest achievement is in Halo Reach. Because there's an achievement which is... Uh, well, actually, there are two of my proudest achievements come from Halo Reach. The first one is beat the game on Legendary by yourself. Well, okay. And that one, you know, it wasn't difficult, like, super difficult, like Halo Combat Evolved Legendary is, mm-hmm. but it's still not easy by any means. And then the one that I'm really proud of, though, is basically kill or assassinate an elite to survive a fall that would kill you. There's only one spot you can do it in the entire game. Mm-hmm. And if you don't time it right, and if you show up there at the wrong time, and you're not watching... You just die. And yeah. you have to go back to the checkpoint. And it took me three to four hours of just doing from this one checkpoint. Because it's literally spawn in, go to the spot. You don't have to fight anything to get there. It's just walk over to the cliff edge, yep. jump. And my god. Three <laughs> to four hours of me just jumping off this cliff over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. Until yep. finally I got him like, yes! Because <laughs> you don't know how many times you drop and you do the assassination. But you don't actually assassinate. You just beat him down instead. Uh... It's like... Oh my god. <laughs> but I gotcha. finally got it and I was so happy when I did. As far as like gaming achievements go, mine was definitely getting 100% on San Andreas. Yeah, I will say I'm pretty proud right now and it's held true. That's me. not hard. That's I mean, San Andreas 100% is hard. It's fun. Yeah. So you have to do the driving school, the flying school, motorcycle school, and all of those are so sensitive and nitpicky. In See, doing your, like, going through the courses and whatnot, because if you're even off by, like, a couple <laughs> pixels on the screen, that's it, man. You didn't get 100%. You got, like, 99. See, the one I'm proud of right now that I got, like, because it's recent. I just finished it back in January or March. Uh-huh. 100% Dark Souls 3. Uh, Every single achievement. Nice. And I'm only off for Dark Souls 2. Yeah, I was really big on getting the 100% games and or, like, all the trophies and whatnot. And then I kind of just like, eh, it's not that important anymore. I just want to pick For the game. me, it takes <laughs> it takes a specific game 
and it's got to be a game I'm actually like that I want to play in my off time. Right. Like there's some some games that I'll play through once and I'm like, right, cool. I saw a story. Yeah, I'm exactly. Cool with that. But there's only a few where I'm like, okay, this one I'm actually gonna play a couple times so I can get yeah like storylines and whatnot. So like Persona Five that I really want to do a, a video for that too is uh, except for the freaking cut off. Yeah. But Persona Five has all of these romantic interests. Yeah. And but, so you want to see all those too. And I, yeah, yeah, I want to see all those too, but I refuse to be the character that dated more than one or two of them to get their special abilities. Because at the end of Persona 5, you go through like a little Valentine's Day event, oh. and they all show up, and they're like, oh, who the hell is she? Or who the hell is that? Like, you promised in the thing. <laughs> and so you could technically accept one girl. You could yeah. be like, yes, Which you were the you one. you play through it multiple and, times. Yeah, and then you have to like... The, like say no to the rest of them and they beat the average living crap out of you my god <laughs> but I'm like no 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 I want one and so for the, my first playthrough you can you, there's like a doctor and a teacher that you can choose which is like every like middle school boy's like fantasy if you had a yeah. hot teacher <laughs> in high school we definitely had a hot teacher in high school <laughs> Let me try and think. <laughs> no names. No names. No, no names, no. I had, like... During high school, I didn't have a single hot teacher. No, no high school. Middle school, I think there was one. And that was it. I'm just being reminded of that Family Guy skit where Peter talked about, you know the song, This is to you, Mrs. Robinson. Oh, yeah, yeah. Peter, you know, he talks about how he was in that band, and he goes... Yeah, they didn't want my suggestion. And it cuts to that scene. He's like, well, you know, I'm still in favor for Mrs. Flechtenstein. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But no, I mean, oh yeah, we bought a, I got a yeah, ton it of arrows. And, we, and then later on, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if I'm right, eventually we just bought even more. Just like, yeah. never have to worry about arrows <laughs> ever again. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, I don't remember why. And then I remember my whole problem of, where are the arrows? Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Have uh, to we quit them. Dark Souls 3 was the first one that I was, like, super driven to do it. I had a... I, okay, the first game I ever 100% was Minecraft on the 360, before the update that added more achievements. Okay. Because it added a ton more achievements, and that made it almost impossible for me now. I mean, I could go back and actually work on it. Yeah, but... But I don't have as much time, and if I'm going to do that, it's going to be in recording sessions. Right. And then the next one was this weird game called uh, Penuma Breath of Life. It was a free game, and it's a puzzle I game. Know. Actually, I think I know what yeah. one is. Yeah, yeah. And it only had, like, eight achievements. Yep. So it was one of those, I'll just knock it out real quick. And the achievements were literally, like, beat all the levels, because yep. there were six levels. Go back and solve these additional puzzles and unlock this area. Yep. And that was it. Yeah. Like, the easy, like for me, the, when I was in my whole getting a shitload of 100% platinum trophies yeah. sort of deal, it was, uh, there was one game that was just easier than hell to get a platinum. It was stupid easy. And I think it was Terminator, like a Terminator Genesis <laughs> game. Because literally, you would, all of the trophies were just story missions. Of course. Like, that, that, was, that was it. That was well, you know the it. Deadpool game gives you a trophy. Like, when you load it up, it gives you the trophy you're loading up, and Deadpool's like... What, you think you're going to get a trophy just for starting the game? Here's a trophy. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, it's like that now, so... But, uh, and then the third game I 100% was Dark Souls 3. Mm -hmm. I haven't 100% anything else yet. I mean, I've 100%ed DLC for games, like, yeah. uh, the Origins DLC for Black Ops 2. Mm -hmm. I got all the achievements for mm -hmm. Which is not easy, because that means you have to revive players in four different ways mm -hmm. you have to save four players plus yourself from a panzer soul that claw oh. you have to make all the staffs you have to upgrade all the staffs mm -hmm. um you have to like there's seven achievements to it and the hardest one is you have to beat the easter egg on that zombies map uh, and me and thad we practice like two months me him frig and another guy yep and it was just two months where every time we were all free, we jumped on and we just played the Origins map, just seeing how long we could survive, getting as many steps done as fast as possible. Yep. And, like, our longest was we went 35 rounds. And then it was the night after that we went, okay, next time we're doing the Easter egg. Yep. And it took us a month of trying to do the Easter egg until we finally got it knocked out. Yeah, the Easter eggs take, oh my 
God, they're so freaking long. Well, they're just long. so convoluted. They are. You have, to do, you have to do all kinds of shit on different sides of the map. And, okay, origin and Easter eggs go as such. You have to build all four staffs. Mm -hmm. You then have to upgrade all four staffs, which each staff has a different upgrade path. Like, for the lightning staff, which was mine, you had to go into the other place where you get the crystal for your staff, play notes on a keyboard that you don't fully know is a keyboard yet. Basically, you... Like, I don't know how you were supposed to get the information to do these things, but it was like you had to play an E chord, a C chord, and then an A chord Yep. <laughs> on this little keyboard off to the side of the wall that you had to shoot with lightning to play it. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then you had to come back, you had to turn knobs on electrical generators throughout the map until they stopped sparking, and then you had to go back to the other place, and you had to kill zombies to power up the crystal for the staff. And when you did all that, then you could put the new crystal in your staff and it was upgraded. Okay. For the fire, it was like you had to go to the other place and you had to fill these baskets with zombie souls until they lit up. And there were four mm -hmm. of them that you mm -hmm. had to do. And then you had to go back and you had to go to the church. And basically you had to go down, see what torches... Or you had to go upstairs and it had a tertiary number system that was mm -hmm. basically circles that were either filled in or not. And lines and where they were positioned, okay. and you had to compare, figure out how that number system worked, see which ones were in the church, and then go downstairs and light the torches that were numbered one through six. So you had to figure out how that tertiary number system lined up with the normal number system. Oh god! And then go back to the other place, kill zombies until you get your upgraded crystal. Well, see, that's why now they just have the booklets for everything. Yeah, now you just go online. Now Dumb. you can just find it. And you're good. So, like, so that's the whole first two steps are get your staffs, upgrade your staffs. Yep. And the next step is, at some point, you have to build the Maxis robot. You then have to get your Iron Fist, which you have to get a tablet. You have to take it to the church. You have to purify it with zombie souls in one of the, like, holy water basins in the church. Pick yeah. it up out of that. Take it downstairs into the mound. Purify it again with souls. And then you get your Iron Fist. After you've done all this... And you've built the Maxis drone. You have to shoot down the invisible airplane flying in the sky. After you shoot him down, you uh, pick up something special from him. You somehow get the robot's uh, air raid ability so you can call in airstrikes from the giant robots walking the map. Mm -hmm. You tell Maxis to go retrieve something from a hole in the ground that you blow open, which then four Panzer soldats fly out. You have to kill all of them, go back to the other place, and just kill zombies until you finally release Samantha. Oh my Jesus Christ. It's nine steps. The best part, though, that made me happy about it, though, was um, uh, the steps are named as... Did you ever play Black Ops 1? Yeah, yeah. Okay, you remember how when you're escaping the Russian gulag? Uh-huh. Do you remember all those steps that they talk about? Man. Retrieve the keys. Shit. Uh, <laughs> slay the Iron Beast. Uh -huh. the, same, the steps are named the exact okay. same way for that uh, Easter, Easter egg. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to take a while to guess. We died fighting the dragon on the cliff edge, didn't we? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> we definitely did. But, yeah. So, like, it wasn't an easy Easter egg, but I was so happy when we got it done. Oh, I remembered one of the other achievements to that whole DLC. Ride the tank all the way around the map. Oh, my God. The problem is the tank, when it gets halfway, has to stop and recharge, and that takes about a round. Uh, nope. <laughs> so you're just standing still for a round, uh -huh. waiting. But he's not going to fight nothing. Oh, no, you have to fight. Oh, you have to fight? <laughs> Never mind. Basically, the only way to complete the Easter eggs properly is your whole team has to, one, work well together and be in agreement. You keep one zombie alive at the end of the round oh, until everybody yes. is agreed that I've done everything I can for the moment. Let's go to the next yep. round. Yep. Oh, I can't tell you how many times we've had that. We had, like, a one zombie and the one who goes, like, oh, I'm not going to kill it. We're like, dude... Leave it alive! Well, you heard what <laughs> happened at the college, right? Uh-uh. You remember Gruber. Uh, yeah, yeah. We were playing in the den, and we were playing Transit. And he has the ray gun, mm -hmm. and it's on insta-kill. Uh... And he goes down. Yep. <laughs> and he's just like, leave me! And I go, okay, fine. He goes, that's rude. I'm like, don't, no, don't tell me no, to leave, and then <laughs> act like I'm being rude because I go with it. Yeah. <laughs> If That's you funny. want help, ask for it. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, and then we started using the poison arrow trick. Because what's the best way to beat a drake? Poison it to death. Poison it, yep. 
But, uh... No, I don't know what my next 100% of the game will be. Uh, I know Robert platinumed uh, Bloodborne. Oh, yeah, I know one of my other friends platinumed that, too. Yeah. Eh, I'm not, he I'm hated not, it because of the Chalice Dungeons. I'm not that de- dedicated to it. I've never played it. It's fun. It is so much fun. I imagine it would be, and that's, like, it's one of two games that would be the entire reason I buy a PS4 at this point. Yeah. That and the Crash Bandicoot trilogy. Uh, okay. Yeah. Like I said, uh, no, it was, that, that's a lot of fun. Yeah. And I got, like, the season pass, too, so I have the DLCs for it, too. Nice. I was going to say, uh, I think I have all the DLC for Dark Souls 3. You'd be amazed how many people are surprised to hear me when I say, yeah, I 100% Dark Souls 3 without beating any of the DLC. <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> I got grandfathered in, because yeah. I was fortunate enough to... Well, actually, they didn't count the miracles and spells from the DLCs against uh, that. And technically, I would have only been missing one miracle when I actually beat it. Yeah. Because by the time I beat it, uh, the Painted World was the only one that was out. Mm-hmm. And there's only one miracle in that entire DLC. Right. But the miracle I was missing, and that a lot of people are missing, and a lot of people hate how the game is set up for, Dark Moon Blade. Oh. Because you have to get 50 proof of con or 30, some huge number of proof mm-hmm. of Concord kept. Mm-hmm. Which you can only get by either being summoned in as a way of, well basically somebody who's using the way of Blue Covenant has to summon you in as mm-hmm. either a Blue Sentinel or a Dark Moon Blade member. Mm-hmm. But nobody uses the way of Blue Covenant. Or... You can farm Silver Knights like I did, but Silver Knights have a 0.02% drop rate for Proof of Concord kept. I earned over a million souls farming Silver Knights. <laughs> like, that was one of my runs farming. Yep. Like, there was a lot more souls gathered, but, like, there was a point where I ended up running at one million souls and went, I'm gonna go level up. And I was so high level at this point, I only got five levels out of a million souls. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Oh, it sucked. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> but I beat it, and when I beat it, I kind of got in this mode of, like, I'm only going to play Dark Souls 3 again when we record it. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's not worth <laughs> I'm just going to hate myself now if I try. <laughs> just like I'm only touching the DLC for it if we record it at this point. Yeah. Fail. I, no, I wanted <laughs> to get closer, but I wanted to do it my way. <laughs> Because I want it my way. Tell me why. <laughs> uh, yeah. I can sing Backstreet Boys. And I think, did we notice it during this fight or the uh, Titanite Demon mini boss fight? The bowstring doesn't move. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then he puts the arrow in a weird spot. Like it's clipping through my thumb. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we're just going to fast forward to this anyway, right? Uh, probably. Yeah, that's fast forward. Like, once we're done talking. <laughs> right. 